Nine years ago, we took away lime skittles and replaced them with green apple. Turns out that was a terrible decision. In fact, 130,880 people complained online. And they've continued to complain for nine f***ing years. Now that Lime was back, we needed to turn all that hate back into love again. But how? Good morning. In 2013, Skittles upset a lot of people by taking away Lime. Skittles will now apologize to everyone who ever complained. We started by apologizing with a 35-minute live press conference on Twitch. At Cats and Gems writes, I want Lime Skittles. Green Apple is garbage. We are sorry. At Matthew Calloway writes, Green Skittles are the physical manifestation of sadness. We are sorry. A record 136,000 people tuned in to watch us highlight and apologize to all that negativity. At me 99999 writes, such trash. They taste of green apple and betrayal. Skittles suck now. The reason I have trust issues. I may as well have bought a vomit bag. Hashtag vom. At piss clams. We are sorry. Skittles is sorry. 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 Are bad. Then, we kept on apologizing on Twitter, in Times Square, and with a post apologizing to every single person we'd wronged that took 10 hours and 54 minutes to read. And not just an empty apology, we sent everyone free Skittles. People loved it. Mark the date. I received a public apology I appreciate from you Skittles for replacing Lime with Green Apple back in 2013. All that corporate remorse resulted in over 5 million viewing minutes on Twitch. Searches for Lime Skittles were up over a thousand percent. Fast Company called it pretty close to a masterpiece. And sales of original packs rose 21%. Are there any questions? Okay. Apologize the rainbow. Taste the rainbow.